This is the Danny K show with Harry James and his music makers. Presented by Pat Blue Ribbon, 33 fine brews blended into one great beer. Neighbors, for your entertainment, Pat's Blue Ribbon presents Eve Arden, Lionel Sander, Bob Jellison, the outstanding music of America's top band, Harry James and his music makers, yours truly, Ken Niles, and Danny Kaye. Well, it's the opening night of Danny Kaye's new playhouse, and in those frantic few moments just before curtain time, all is confusion and excitement. <laughs> The color jury is warming up. Hey, Jack, hold that scenery over the The stagehands are putting the scenery into place. The actors are running through their parts. The orchestra is in the pit, tuning up. Alice, I love you as your first line. Oh, Alice, I love you. Okay. Yes, right. All right, boys, quiet, quiet, quiet. Now let's run through that number again, okay? One, two. I knew something terrible would happen to me on opening night. Why, what's the matter, Well, Danny? look at me, Evie. I'm bent over double. I can't straighten up. What? Well, look at me. I'm bent over like a jackknife. Oh. Now, hold still a second. Don't move. Now, unhook your suspenders from your garters. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that does it. Gosh, Evie, I don't know what I'd do without you. I know what I'd do without you. I'd live to a ripe old age. Now, look, Danny, don't be nervous. Relax. Relax? Relax. Yes. I'm relaxed. Who says I'm not relaxed? I'm, I'm perfectly relaxed. Well, what makes you think I'm not relaxed? <laughs> relaxed? I'm, I'm calm, cool. I'm, 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 I'm n- 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 not n- n- nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm relaxed. <laughs> relaxed. I'm not, I'm not nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm calm. <laughs> Danny, will you take it easy? It's only opening night. What can happen? Yes, you're absolutely right, Evie. What can happen? What can happen? Oh, a lot of things can happen. Now, nothing will happen. I've checked everything. The costumes. Oh, they won't fit. The scenery. It'll fall down. The lights. Oh, the lights. That's it. The lights. I knew they would do it. They'll go out. And if they go out, we'll have to do the play in the dark. And if we do the play in the dark, no one can see us. Maybe it's better that way. Yeah. <laughs> but if they can't see us, they won't know when we start. And if they don't know when we start, they won't know when we're finished. And if they don't know when we're finished, they won't know when to go home. And if they don't go home, I'll be breaking the curfew. And if I break the curfew, I'll go to jail. I don't want to go to jail. I'm not a public enemy! Oh, Danny, will you please calm yourself? Oh, calm myself, yes. Calm myself. That's what I'll do. I'll calm myself. That's it. Calm myself. All right. I'm calm now. Calm. 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 Oh! Oh! What's the matter now? Oh, I forgot what I'm supposed to say. What, what, what's my opening line, Edie? Well, you walk on the stage through the kitchen door and say, Alice, I love you. Yes, yes, I remember now. Alice, I love you. 
earliest I love you. <laughs> what is that? I don't know, Eve. I, I don't know what happened. No, all of a sudden something happened. I, I can't help it. Eve, whenever I whenever I think of that opening night audience, my throat tightens up. <laughs> oh, Ben. Now forget about the audience. Take the line again. Ernest, I love you. <laughs> it's there again. See it? Just... Let us go before a justice of the purse and we'll make his burden groom. <laughs> I cannot marry you. I am in love with Jack. Jack? <laughs> Forget you. Mary Moore. What do you say, Alice? What do you say? Definitely nerd. <laughs> oh, now, come on, Danny. Let's run through it again. Oh, uh, it's no use, Evie. I'm as tight as a drum. I just can't. I, I... Evie. Danny. Evie. What's the matter? It's go- gone now. I'm, I've, I've got laryngitis. Oh, Hello, Danny. <laughs> Danny, what's the matter with you? I have laryngitis. Laryngitis? That's nothing but nerves. I can cure that in a minute. You can? How? Well, the first thing you got to do is stop whispering. Just say in your normal voice, Hello, Lionel, how are you? Hello, Lionel, how are you? Fine, how are you? I got laryngitis. <laughs> Don't try to do anything with Danny tonight. He's just a bundle of nerves. Nerves? Mm -hmm. Nerves are controlled by the brain. I've got no nerves. Why? (laughs) No coaching from the audience, please. (laughs) What about me? I have laryngitis. I can't talk. Well, you'll just have to talk to your tonsils. Talk to my tonsils? Sure, Danny. You see, I read a book. You read? Why, sure. Sometimes without even moving my lips, even. (laughs) Remarkable. Now, the doctor that wrote this book says that the only way to overcome nervousness is to talk to different parts of your body and get them to relax. Lionel, why don't you ever talk with your brain and tell it to come home, all is forgiven? (laughs) Miss Arden, I shall ignore both your in and your endo. Pretty difficult to overlook that. Now look, Danny, suppose I want to relax my feet. The first thing I have to do is have a talk with my big toe. He's the boss. I say to my big toe, Tom, I say, why are you so nervous? Why don't you and your four little brothers relax? You haven't acted like this since the last time I got a hot foot. Now stop wiggling and relax. Go to sleep. There. Are your toes asleep? Yeah, out like a light. Look at that, Evie, it worked. Gee, Lionel, the doctor who wrote that book certainly knows his stuff. I bet he could straighten out my nerves in a minute. When can I meet him, Lionel? Oh, you can't meet the doctor now, Danny. Why not? He just had a nervous breakdown. This is Ken Niles in the lobby of the Danny Kaye Playhouse. There's a tremendous crowd here tonight. Everybody who isn't anybody in Hollywood is here. The excitement of an important premiere is in the air, and everybody's talking of just one thing, the new Playhouse. Listen. Got a match? Uh, Yeah, got a cigarette? Nope. Yes, this promises to be the most (laughs) glittering of all Hollywood opening nights. And speaking of opening nights, every night is opening night for a bottle of Pat's Blue Ribbon Beer. The crowd is surging into the theater, and already the first 33 rows are filled to capacity. And speaking of 33, remember Pat's Blue Ribbon is blended from never less than 33 fine brews. Full flavor blended as only Pat's can do it to achieve its cheery sparkle and tang. It's golden rich color. Good evening, Mr. Nile. Uh, good evening. Folks, that was one of Hollywood's greatest columnists and critics. And speaking of grapes, when you taste that delicious, appetizing goodness of Pabst Blue Ribbon, you'll say this really is a great beer. Five minutes, curtain call. Well, there's the curtain call. And speaking of calls, wherever smart people gather, Paps gets the call. For they know you can order it with confidence and serve it with pride. For no matter where you go, there is no finer beer, no finer blend than Paps Blue Ribbon. <laughs> How's 
everything look, Ken? Oh, wonderful, Danny. Oh, swell. Any celebrity show up yet? No, but hey, look at that big car pulling up. I'll bet that belongs to some famous Hollywood star. Hey, look, he's getting out. Maybe it's Gary Cooper or Cary Grant. Well, let's go over and see yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, Jellison. <laughs> For a minute, we thought you were Cary Grant. Oh, that's silly. I'm much more the Humphrey Bogart type. Uh, well, I'm glad to see that you came to my opening, Jellison. Oh, I'm a first-nighter from way back. You are? You betcha. <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> Say, Mr. K, what play are you doing tonight? Well, we're doing a Russian play my father wrote for me when he was nine weeks old. <laughs> He was a child prodigy Oh What's the name of it? Well, the Russian title is Yak, yak, zdrak, yak, zdrak, zdroni Tsipi, tsipi, drippi, tsipi, drippi, la pomponi What are you doing? Yak, na tsipi, yak, zdrak, na tsipi, drippi Yak, zdrak, zdroni, na tsipi, drippi, la pomponi Oh, that's wonderful But what does it mean? Well, it means that Once upon a time, there were three Chinese boards Yak, yak, zdrak and there were three Chinese girls. Sippy, sippy, drippy, sippy, drippy, la pomponi. What an impression English. Then they all got married. Yak married sippy, yak to drak married sippy, drippy, yak to drak the droni, married sippy, drippy, la pomponi. Very happy. That's a very tender story. What does it mean? Once upon a time, there were three Chinese boys. Yak, yak, to drak, yak, to drak. Hey, Danny, you better get backstage and get your costume on. Harry's about to play the overture. Oh, that's fine. What's he playing? I wish I knew. Oh, doesn't anybody know what's going on around here? The curtain is going up in a minute. Danny, that's the name of the song, and Kitty Callan's going to sing it. Oh, I beg your pardon. nervous now. The curtain's about to go up. You all set, Eve? Lionel, how about you, Harry? I'm all set, Danny. I am James the butler. I murdered my master because he was cruel to me. Cruel, I tell you. So I killed him dead. Dead. I tell you, dead. Well, that's fine, Harry. That's fine. <laughs> you killed the audience dead. Dead, I tell you. Dead. 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 Ken Niles is out front greeting the first nighters. Well, good friends, we welcome you all to the opening of Danny Kaye's new playhouse. Tonight, we bring you an epic of Hollywood movie making starring Danny Kaye as Donovich Kayoff, the great Russian impresario. Curtain. Music. As 
the scene opens, the great Donovich Chaos is just entering his private office. Where is my secretary? Right here, Mr. Chaos. <laughs> take some notes here. I got an absolutely sensational idea for a beautiful catastrophe. I'm ready. Quick, take notes. I'm ready. Too late! <laughs> the idea has varnished. <laughs> my brains have too much on their mind. Wait. Wait, I have a second idea for an absolutely sensational motion picture. First scene, close-up of man. Long beard. Razor in hand. What are you going to call it? Objective Burma shave. <laughs> call my production staff. Where is everybody? Production staff, production staff. Sam Goldwyn. <laughs> Take him away. <laughs> All right, everybody. Off your knees. <laughs> Tongues off my shoes. <laughs> Gee, Chief, you're in a bad humor today. That salmon you had last night must have disagreed with you. What? Who is salmon to disagree with me? <laughs> Take it easy, Chief. It was only an idea. Well, who are you to get ideas? I am the genius. Never forget this. Which reminds me, I forgot my coat on restaurant. Uh, secretary. <laughs> Get the brown derby on the phone. Here you are, sir. What took you so long? <laughs> Hello, brown derby. Would you do me a favor? Would you please go across the street to Joe's cafeteria and get my coat? <laughs> what? What? You too. <laughs> and now to work. Secretary. Sharpen up your teeth, Rater. I have for you a very long shorthand. <laughs> We're going to do a super detective story in technical color. A detective story? Absolutely. I will call it Meet Me and Louis. Saint? <laughs> and for my stars, I will have Lorim Blackball and Humphrey Bugle. <laughs> Can you get him, Chief? Can I get him? Of course not. But with Danovich Chaos, nothing is possible. <laughs> what is next? There's an actor outside waiting to see you. An actor? All right, show him in. This way, please. You are an actor? Go ahead. Act! I am James the butler. I killed my master because he was cruel to me, so I killed him. I killed him, I tell you. Well, Mr. Chaos, how do you like that? I can tell you in one word. Well? That is not the word. <laughs> out, please, out. T-U-O, out! Out! <laughs> I just threw him out backwards. <laughs> How can I make pictures with actors like this? I am losing my mind. How can you make pictures without money? You're a flat broke. Who is broke? What are you talking about? Yesterday I put big deposit in bank. 6,000 clams. But that is not good enough for them. They want money. <laughs> wait. Wait just a moment. I have it. That girl. What girl? The girl I met last night. Little Iwaneshka high pockets. <laughs> she is very rich. Very crazy about me. Also very rich. Yes. I now go to call on my little cauliflower who has plenty of folding cabbage. <laughs> ah, good evening, my little scallion. You are so lovely. You are so beautiful. I would like to run barefoot through your hair. I am James, the butler. All right, I'll run through your mustache. <laughs> Don't quibble. Oh, Donovich, it's just too, too charming of you to have dropped in. I think it's fun to barge in on people. I am always happy to drop in on a barge like you. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my little cabbage, you are so beautiful. If I could only capture your beauty and canvas. If I only had my brush and my weasel. <laughs> ah, every time I look into your eyes, my heart goes flop, chicka, flop, chicka, flop, chicka, flop. <laughs> oh, Donovich. Let me hold me in your arms <laughs> while I sing to you the love song of my native country. Orchester, <laughs> help me to make <laughs> a 
за чем это но так была хороша не более на игру прошлым сенатором и не страдал бы душа полюбил я ее о, любил горячо. А она на любовь смотри так холодно. Лучше было бы, лучше было бы не любить, лучше было бы, лучше было бы то и не знать, лучше было бы, лучше было бы Tabs Blue Ribbon, чем теперь, чем теперь забивать. Well, Donovich, it's just too, 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 too to think that the great Donovich Chaos loves poor little me. Poor? You are poor? <laughs> yes, personally, yes. Papa controls the estate. But never mind Papa and his money. Kiss me. Step aside, I kiss Papa. <laughs> oh, it isn't as easy as that, Donovich. Papa is extremely frugal. You mean your father squeezes nickels? <laughs> oh, he isn't as bad as that. Would you care for a glass of buffalo milk? <laughs> really, Donovich, I must tell you this. <laughs> What is it? Papa is utterly Just heart... a second, that's Papa. Oh, pardon me. Papa is utterly heartless and ruthless. He's a cold man. Out of my way, my little Droshka. I'm going in to see your papi. Your papa. Papa. <laughs> papa. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, there you are, Mr. High Pockets. No way. I hate you. I am nasty. I am nasty. Spare me one moment, please, I beg of you. I am Donovich Keo, the impresario. I write, act, direct, produce... And Saturdays I play short stuff for Pasadena Bloomer Girls. <laughs> I am a genius, and I have a letter signed by me to prove it. State your business. I am a very busy man and also very tough. All right. I will get down to brass tactics. I need one million dollars. No, more. Five hundred thousand. Okay, you talk me into it. <laughs> What are you going to do with the money I give you? I am going to produce a great epic. A modern masterpiece based on the story of Little Red... <laughs> Little Red Riding Jacket. I call it For Whom the Wolf Howls. <laughs> Jay, that sounds fetching. But before I give you the money, there's one proviso I must make. There is always one proviso, unfortunate not lately. <laughs> yes. I insist that my son have the leading role. Only on one condition will I do this. Can he act? Oh, he's a great actor. I'll call him in. All right, son, act. I am James the butler. <laughs> I, killed, I killed my master because he was so cruel to me. Stop this! Stop it! I have heard enough. Rather than use him as an actor, I abdicate from the picture business. I return to the ballet. The ballet? Oh, are you a dancer, too? Am I a dancer? I was born to be a dancer. And when the music plays, the ants in my pants do tour <laughs> And what is the answer? Why is this condition? Because when I was born, I was born in fifth position. <laughs> I entered the world with an oop. L.A. Age two months, three weeks. I was crawling on my ballet. <laughs> Other children say da-da, you and mother. When I opened my mouth, came out Pavlova. <laughs> and right away to jete, chasse, casse, pirouette, rond de jam, plomb de jam, entre basse, pirouette, 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 entre jet, entre jet, alouette, 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 jam, alouette. So I chasse the chassis and I plie de plie till I was the corpse. The corpse de ballet. <laughs> Twas then I met Pavlova. <laughs> ah, Pavlova. What an elevation. And such an extension. She was dancing in big circus ballet with her partner, the famous Sergei. 
Nice fella, Sergeyevsky, but no mind of his own. <laughs> in this ballet, he is walking on tightrope, hundred feet in the air, when suddenly somebody yells, Swing it! <laughs> nice fella, Sergeyevsky, but too impulsive. <laughs> There was Pavlova without a partner right in the middle of Heredagio. Everybody's in great confusion. But not me. I am unconscious. <laughs> Greatly sympathetic, Pavlova told me what to do. To rise from corpse de ballet to public dancer number two. It's a very simple method. There is really nothing to it. Whatever everyone else is doing, you don't do it. <laughs> They are up, you are down. They are down, you are up. They are leaving, you are creeping. They are waking, you are sleeping. They are laughing, you are crying. They are living, you are dying. They go east, you go west. That is where the sun shines best. Of love. This, this, this brings me to the time I got out of sick bed to dance in the healthy prince. <laughs> it is bitter cold night. And for costumes, we are wearing strings of vitamin pills. <laughs> Here am I with ache in my legs, cold in my back, pain in my head, and trouble with my ballerina. <laughs> so I say to myself, what is more important? R or pneumonia? <laughs> yep. I make all appearance of that flannel underwear. Next morning, I am hailed by the critics as the first hot ballet dancer. From then on... When Paul Haker starts a fake, and when he's making with the shake, and Apple Draper starts a paper on the floor. Then who's the man they call on when they cannot get the Paul? I'm the man in the red flannel drawers. <laughs> when Nijinsky does Stravinsky like a core, his boyfriend Minsky enters out one of the worst array of doors. Then to scare the bull and Carmen, they just send a three alarm and for the man in the red flannel drawers. Not Lishin, Martin, Duke, and Poikin, Kurtzberg, go to Bova, to Manova, Lubanova, Yusanova, Poplova, Iglevsky, Osigrevsky, Opachevsky, but of course. <laughs> <laughs> I came to America to make my 54th farewell debut. <laughs> but between my farewell and my debut, what has happened to the dance? They're now dancing with angles. They're now dancing with barefoot. They're now dancing with significance. <laughs> Martha Graham. Martha Graham and her six little crackers. <laughs> are performing monster ballet called Diesel Engine number 45. Martha Graham is playing part of Diesel Engine. Six little crackers are playing spark plugs. <laughs> and Charles Weidman. Charles Weidman is making guest appearance as Flywheel. The ballet starts. Hey! Ah, Pavlova. Pavlova. The wonderful things we used to do. I could do them again if I only had you. But how can you do when you ain't got with who? Pavlova. Ballet, that sends me, that sends me. Oh, yeah, you, Lionel? Sure, I'm a sucker for all them cultural cultures. Well, I'm glad to see you enjoy the finer things, Lionel. Oh, yeah, I just ooze refinements. I'm a patron of the arts, a patron of the opera, and a patron of the cinema. Well, how about beer? A patron of Pabst Blue Ribbon. Oh, that's fine, Lionel. All people who appreciate the finer things always choose Pabst Blue Ribbon because it's the blended beer, full flavor blended from never less than 33 fine brews. This process of full-flavor blending ensures the even goodness and sparkling quality that sets this famous beer apart. Yes, Pat Blue Ribbon has all the qualities that particular people look for in a beer. It's the most tingling, appetizing flavor that ever flowed from a bottle. So order it with confidence and serve it with pride. For no matter where you go, there is no finer beer, no finer blend than Pat Blue Ribbon. This program was directed by Dick Max and brought to you by the Pat Brewing Company of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and Peoria, Illinois. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.